Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abartha Rupani and in today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the new programs which is called In Demand Skills Stream, which is under Ontario Immigration Nominee Program. And guys, it is open to all the foreign workers who live inside and outside of Canada, so anybody can apply. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about what this stream is, what are its requirements, and who can apply, and the step-by-step -step process to apply. Also, the fees and its processing time. So, without wasting any time, let's start. Okay, first of all, let's understand what in-demand skill stream is. It is an immigration stream under the Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program, which gives foreign workers with a job offer in specific in-demand occupations, such as in agriculture, construction, trucking, or any other work that falls in skill level C and D of NOC. Now, let's just have a quick look at the requirements of this stream, and I will explain each in detail. First of all, let's discuss the education requirement and guys, the good news is the minimum education requirement for this stream is high school or grade 12. So anyone can apply who doesn't have degree or diploma. And guys, if you have completed your studies outside of Canada, you need to get an educational credential assessment, which is also called ECA, that proves your education is equivalent to a Canadian high school diploma. And the assessment must be done by one of the following organizations which are designated by IRCC and each organization charges a different fee and has different processing times. So guys, please check their websites and select the one that is best for you. However, I would recommend best because it has less processing time as compared to others and the fees is low as well. Okay, now let's move on to the next requirement which is language proficiency test. You must take an approved English or French language test before you submit your application. Let's say if you're planning to write IELTS exam, then it has to be general, not the academic one. And the score for each skill you will need is already specified by them at their website. And guys, the link is given in the description box below. And this is the table where you can check the minimum requirements for each skill under CLB level 4. So for reading, you will need 3.5, for writing, you will need 4, for listening, 4.5, and for speaking, 4 again. Okay, now let's move on to the third requirement, which is job offer. And this is one of the tricky uh, requirements because most of you are a bit confused in this part. But before I explain that to you guys, I would like to mention some of the key points for the job. And the job has to be permanent and full-time, which means the minimum number of hours has to be 30 per week. And the job offer must be from following NOCs. And the titles of these NOCs are given at their website, as you can see. And guys, the link is given in the description box below. You can check it out. Okay, now let's figure out how to get a job offer. Now, there are some steps that you need to follow. And let me just walk you through one by one. So first step is to find the job positions and employers and in order to do that you need to visit Canada's job search websites and I am going to give you a couple of examples for those. The first one is indeed.ca and this is one of the most famous job search websites where you can find jobs in Canada. So once you are at this page just type the job that you are looking for and the region where you are looking in our case Ontario of course. And here I am looking for agriculture jobs uh, just to show you an example and I will click permanent position because this is what we are looking for and this is the complete list of jobs that are being advertised and just click one of the jobs from the list and in this case I've clicked general farm worker and as you can see um, it shows the complete details of this job it is in Leamington in Ontario and it is full-time permanent position it also shows the um, wage and then as you scroll down it also shows duties and responsibilities and the qualifications for this job are also specified and so this is the complete information about the job that you're going to apply and it also gives you the information that where to apply and how to apply so all the instructions are given all you have to do is just follow the instructions and send your resume and cover letter accordingly now let me give you another website for the job search in Canada and it is called 
jobbank.gc.ca and guys it is one of the most reliable sources for the job search in Canada because it is the official website of uh, Canada so all you have to do is just go to the main page and in advance search uh, select all the options that apply to you such as education level and the region you're looking in and uh, the salary range so after making selections just click the search button and it will bring you at this page where you can see the complete listing of jobs and just an example I picked construction labor and as you can see the complete information about this job which is education requirement the the experience and they also require some specific uh, skills now they are also showing how to apply so the email address of the person is given where you need to send your resume to and as you can see they have also mentioned the name of the company that is offering this job and let me give you one tip in here if you know the company name then you can easily search the hiring manager of that company at LinkedIn simply just type the company name and search it in the search box just contact them directly send your resume and cover letter and find out if they are hiring uh, any foreign worker so this is one of the best tips and uh, you never know you might get lucky and you might get chance for an interview or you might get a job offer and guys one more thing I wanted to mention is that after finding employers or after finding job positions that you want to apply to always always customize your resume according to the job description you want to apply to and make cover letters accordingly because it is going to make your resumes stronger as compared to other candidates and of course don't forget to follow up after seven to ten days after you apply to the position because that way it gives a reminder to the hiring manager that somebody applied to the position and that way they might go back and look at your resume and your job application so anyways now let's move to the next requirement which is proof of funds and guys this is the table where you can see all the required uh, funds that you will need when you will immigrate to Canada in order to settle down and it is also given in the description box you can check it out now at this point you should have all the required documents gathered and this is the list which I got from their official website and guys the link is given in the description box below so guys please go and check it out all the documents that are required in order to uh, submit the application for this stream okay once you have gathered all the required documents now it's time to submit your application for in-demand skill stream and in order to do that you need to go to their official website which is OINP that is Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program just type in Google and it will bring you at this page just scroll it down a little bit and then click this link which is in demand skill stream it will bring you at this page so scroll it all the way down and click submit an application button and then it will bring you at this page click I'm not robot and press continue it will bring you at this page now click new applicant and then you will come at e-filing page where you have to click the proper link which is in demand skill stream and then press yes and enter all the required information such as last name first name and your date of birth and then press next it will bring you at this page where you will have to sign up for the one key account in order to create your profile so create your user ID your password and enter all the security questions for your account recovery and then press sign up button and then press continue for the confirmation and that will bring at this page where you can create your profile in order to submit your application and guys this is pretty much straightforward and super easy form to fill out so just go ahead and do it and once you complete your profile then click the finish button at the end 
and that will bring you at the main page of e-filing where you can start your application so just fill up your application upload all the required documents and then submit your application and after that if your application is successful then you will receive a nomination letter and OINP certificate of nomination by email then your next step is to apply for permanent residence to IRCC directly within six months and let me show you where to apply for PR so all you have to do is just go to their official website which is cic.gc.ca and the link is given in the description box where you can apply for the PR and guys this is the paper uh, application for the PR so all you have to do is just click how to apply and click the application package and it will bring you at this page where you can find all the required application forms that you need to fill out and guys there is one document all the way at the bottom which is called guide for provincial nominees so don't forget to refer it because it will give you all the directions in order to fill out your application form it will also help you to avoid all the possible mistakes and once you fill out your application then you need to pay your application fees and that is PR application fees and guys the instructions you can get for the payment from this link and it is given in the description box so the total fees is 1040 that includes uh, the right of residence fees as well as the application processing fees so this is the total of that and you also have to pay the fees for biometrics which is 85 dollars Canadian and before you submit your application guys please ensure that you have signed and dated all the documents and forms you have included all the required supporting documents and then answered all the questions and then once you confirm and ensure that everything is perfect to go then send your application to this address which is already mentioned and I would recommend you to send your application by registered mail because it is more reliable as compared to the regular mail so anyways now let's move on to the application fees for in-demand skill stream application which is if your job offer outside of GTA then it is $1,500 but if it is within GTA then it is $2,000 Canadian and guys the application processing time is 60 to 90 days and if you guys are in Canada you can also apply for this program but the status should be legal which means you are eligible to apply if you have a study permit or work permit or visitor visa okay guys so that was pretty much it for today and if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comment box i would be more than happy to answer all of your questions and give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and do subscribe my channel because there's a lot more coming up for you guys till then you take care and i'll see you again